would like everyone to know how late Sean is. <laughs> how late was I? 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And I messaged him an hour ago. Are you gonna be on time? Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Sorry. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All you brave men going to play pickleball on there. Yeah, we came last week. Do you remember us? Yeah. Hello? You were like, you are too young for this. Yeah, that's me. Alright, how's it going? Good. Warm ups are important. We played a super intense match. Look how sweaty he is. Look how sweaty I am. But we lost. There's no one, no rocket. Yeah, and we're back, and we just um, got spun again by the Superman guy and some pro guy. Uh, yeah, but we're starving. We're gonna eat some lunch. We have arrived at our destination, Papa Chang's over there. So this place is like the king of value eats. For uh, a bento box, it's around six to seven dollars. Pretty filling, very delicious. I don't know how much cheaper you can ask for, like. They have to pay wages. Hopefully they're paying above the, the minimum or at least minimum. Uh, this guy wasn't impressed with us filming, but he's a baller. Look at that, 750. Anyways, hopefully lunch is good. Bye, Darren. See you later, fans. Fans. The star is leaving. <laughs> Check out my new setup. I, um, now I can vlog in the car, do some nice car time lapses, and I don't have to use my hands. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, now I'm going to uh, go climbing with my friend Aishan. Uh, you haven't seen him on the vlogs yet, but he's one of my close friends from university, so let's get high. Who's that? Yeah. Who's that? How's it going, man? Yeah, this is my boy Aishan from Sunny the Weaver. What's up? He's, What's up? The, he's the one who ushered me into university and crafted me into the man I am now. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She takes really cool pictures. No. You can see some nice uh, pictures right here, here, and here. Photography is involved. Yeah, she's. I think you're going to Taiwan, right? Yeah. Okay, so she's going to Taiwan, but she'll be back, and uh, you can just message her on Facebook. <laughs> uh, she takes very great photos. <laughs> you're working. You're working. <laughs> Yo, how do you hold on to this shit, man? 
Let's go. Oh! <laughs> hey, so, um, yeah, we're heading to dinner now. Um, Betty got me this cool shirt. I don't know if you recognize it. I didn't recognize it. But it's, um, it's from Food Wars, one of my favorite animes. And the main character wears a shirt. So it's awesome. Anyway, for uh, dinner, we're having some rice noodles. Uh, Aishan's never had it before, so hopefully we'll get some cool reactions out of him. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I had fun today. Uh, I'm feeling a bit tired, but, you know, that's what food's for. So we're eating at one of my favorite noodle places. It's called Dagu, and uh, there's all-you-can-eat noodles. So you put all this food in there, and then just eat it until you're full of noodles. I love you, dude. <laughs> God. Yes, sir. What do Japanese people say before they eat? Oh. Eat the dakimas. Eat the dakimas. <laughs> I feel like this is what the the pro vloggers do. They have like their own mount and they just like talk. And they just yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Joe and like Bart, like they do that. Yeah. So yeah. Like, so anyway, hello. We are. Uh, hello. We just finished dinner. How'd you like it? It's pretty bomb. It's pretty yeah, bomb. It's pretty good. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Said. Uh, and <laughs> but it was really salty. So yeah, we got it. We gotta yeah, we got quench some, the thirst, yeah, and we're gonna get some great. bubble tea. So um, you take a sip first, and then drink it. Yo, yo, that's, that's good. It's good. That's okay. really good. And then you mix it. Holy shit! Like you mix it all the way, and then you drink it again. Yeah. Mmm. Yo. <laughs> Holy shit! That was good. Holy shit! All right, so I'm back in the car, and uh, Aishan's gonna come to my house to hang with my family for a bit. So it'll be fun. See you there. Uh, Aishan and her mom are, are bonding, and uh, he's asking her for life advice. You go, mom. You go. They're still talking. Um, I'm gonna go pick up my sister now. It's been like. An it's been like an hour, an hour and a half. Hey vlog, uh, it's uh, ten thirty right now. I'm going to go pick up my sister. She was out hanging out with her friends late at night. Hi there, thanks for tuning back into National Geographic. Oh, look over there. There's two funny, two funny-looking humanoid creatures stalking my little sister. But don't worry, I've got my rifle. Aimed right at their brainstems. Bye guys. Hi. Hello. Damn, this guy shows up to my house wearing a suit at 12 a.m. What are you doing? Are you, are you taking me out on a mysterious thing? Yeah, I brought all the good stuff. Oh, cool. damn. What is that? Blue Lemon Toronto 10K. Stay tuned for an upcoming episode. I like that. for the 10k that we're running next week. I guess I so uh, I just wanted to you know check it out. Uh, so what oh, this is the bib. Got a fat bar. Some always one. Some ads. Oh. Forty dollar gift card. Polysport. I don't know why people need so much polysport. Oh, it's for blisters. Okay, that makes sense. And then, so, yeah. Damn, we have a water bottle. Cucumber lime mint. Interesting. Ah, of course they have the game shirt. 
for the t-shirt. Look at that. So it's the end of today's vlog. I just wanted to sit down and have a little bit of a chat. So today, uh, I had a pretty fun day. I think every day is, is more fun when you sort of pay attention to what's going on and you know get excited about every little thing. And so yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about vlogging and you know my thoughts about it. It's because a couple of my friends have been asking me, hey Sean, uh, why do you vlog? Well, when did you start? Like, why are you so interested in it? Uh, well, I guess it all started when my friend Cindy, who was in my first vlog, uh, she she told me about how she and her friends send little vlogs to, to each other to share their lives. And I thought that was a really cool way to capture memories. So then when, when uh, I was going on to the Rockies trip with Darren, he was like, yo, we should vlog. So then I was like, okay. And then he sort of voluntold me to do all the editing and stuff. But then I actually ended up enjoying it. So. Uh, yeah, that's sort of what got me into it. But you know, vlogging has been has been a really enjoyable experience. I think it really helps me to focus and be in the moment and really, you know, be there and enjoy every sort of moment that pops up throughout my day. Uh, it really gets me to engage more and just like get out and do fun stuff. And I really love how simple it is because all you really need to do is, is you know, take your phone, point at some stuff, film some stuff, talk to it a bit. And uh, you can just, you know, spend some time editing it and you have a memory that's there forever for your friends to see, for your family to see, for the world to see. I think that's super cool. And then also, I guess, on a more personal level, uh, I've always really disliked my voice. Uh, I think it started in high school when one of my choir superiors told me to sing quieter because my voice was ugly. That sucked. But doing this, I've become more confident, you know, just in myself, in my voice. And I think that it's a really enriching experience. And some really good advice that I got was, you know, if you have time to Snapchat your day, you have time to vlog. So, you know, it's a pretty fun activity. Definitely recommend it. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Good night.